it's evening here. Um, I just thought I'd come on here and do a short vlog. It's been a couple days. I know y'all miss me. I ain't got nothing important to say. But it's okay. See my lights back there? That's my little flamingo lights from Sunshine Girl 07. Actually, I have two flamingo lights. You can't even tell they're flamingos from here. But they are. She sent them in Happy Mail. Because she loves me. She loves all her friends. And if you ain't her friend, you need to go to her channel, Sunshine Girl 07. Because she's awesome. Becky is her name. <clears throat> Pardon me. Anyway, I just needed to get on here and complain about men. So, if you're easily offended, for example, you are a male, then you might not. No, I'm just joking. I ain't fixing to trash men. But remember about three videos, four videos ago, I mentioned getting drink. It was like drinks, sun dogs, something and something. Anyway, there's this guy from church, right? And he's nice. He's a nice guy. He, you know, he's a nice guy. And I felt bad for him because like his wife passed away last year after an extended illness and I just felt really bad and he was wanting to talk to me and all that and look even though you meet people at church it doesn't mean that they're not scary okay I know I am beautiful I'm attractive sexy desirable all those things to men and women, just everyone in general. But <laughs> in all honesty, I'm so glad he doesn't know I have a YouTube channel because that would be scary. I ended up having to block him. Hey, I don't know. See, the way I am, I'm like, oh no, they're completely harmless. But then they start, look, after two, less than two weeks, and somebody starts mentioning things that not sexual things. Get your minds out of the why y'all always gotta go there? I wasn't talking about that. But things like just things that I don't I just wanna be friends. Look, I to be serious, I had a very rough marriage. And, and I, I've known him since 04. I had a child in 05. We did not work out. We split. We got back together in 05. In 94. She was born in 95. So it's, it's not like I didn't know the guy. But you know what? In 04, we ended up getting married. Complicated. It's a Sarah's dad I'm talking about. And I don't, I try not to trash my exes because it's really not. It's, it's not good, especially when kids are involved, you know, you can talk all day long when there's no kids, but anyway, but it, it just <clears throat> ended very poorly, and I ended up not knowing him, you know, and that's not the only relationship I've ever been in, that's the longest, but, um, and like I said, there was some off time, but, you know. Anywho, so I had told this gentleman, friends, 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 because I, I, back to the I'm um, desirable, sexy, all that stuff, I know this, but I, I know I'm not. Look, I look at myself in the mirror every day. Anyway, but. Quite frankly, I'm scared. I am scared. I do not trust and people in general, but mostly men, just because y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, and I just, I'm not, no, I do not see myself ever getting married again. I do believe God does not want man, and when I say man, I mean people, humans, us, to be alone. Everyone needs a help me, help mate, however you want to say it. Um, 
And I do believe that, but I just can't. I just can't. And I'm 46. I know I'm not a young whippersnapper, but I also know I am not dead yet. So there's always a possibility that someday, somehow, I may be in another relationship. But I need, I need to know that I know this person. And I don't like feeling pressured. Maybe it's because <clears throat> even before I was divorced, I was living with my ex-husband, but not living together. We lived in the same home because of financial stuff, because housing wasn't available because I was very picky to where I was going um, you know with Sarah but anyway so I was still alone although I wasn't alone you know what I'm talking about anyway and I just I got I maybe I'm used to that now and I'm kind of like because I already have bubble I have a bubble and that bubble just is me my kiddo, my dog, and my cat. I'm learning to be a little more social because they're, I'm not, without going into much detail, I, I really had no one the entire time that, since 04, except for Sarah when she was born in 05 and her dad, my ex husband. No one. One person out of necessity and she became a friend that was the only local person but that was um, you know our visits weren't frequent and all that stuff but anyway but when I start feeling pressured and when I say pressured I mean this guy as sweet as he can be um, he, he has some emotional issues and I can understand why because last July on my birthday uh, his wife passed so I would have some issues you know uh, over 10 years I think they were together but anyway um, I don't like people touching me I don't like people I don't like feeling pushed and you know he was always telling me how beautiful I was or how pretty I was or how pretty my eyes or my smile really I have no teeth how pretty can a smile be with no teeth I said this was going to be short. You know, I lie. When I say it's going to be a short vlog, you know, right then I'm lying. Anyway, I'll try not to make this too long. Because I know 95% of y'all already left or fell asleep. Oh, Sarah's getting out of the shower. i got to hurry. Anyway, he was always wanting to grab my hand. And telling me this stuff. And I'm like, no, I just want to be friends. Friends? Fr he, he gave me a study Bible, which I love. I told him I'd give it back. He got he made he makes walking sticks. He finds the wood, cuts it, sands it down. Beautiful. I mean, they're gorgeous. Um, one cedar, one's something. But anyway, they're gorgeous. And I said, you know, I, I'm like I can't. And I tried to be friends, and I tried to be friends, and and I kept telling him, I no, you can't. I can't. But he kept wanting to push, and I'm like, I don't even know you, dude. <laughs> you know. And it was kind of making me mad because I'm like, come on. I know I'm just out of But anyway, um, so I'm like, let me give you stuff back. I just have to, I have to cut contact today. I had to cut all contact. And I just got a text right before I started this video <laughs> from him. And then he was begging to get back on Facebook because I took him off my friends list because people can't view all of my page a lot of stuff but not a lot uh, like my friends <clears throat> which that's not even a big deal Facebook is just Facebook you know but anyway and he was begging let me get back on Facebook I look at your pictures all the time stalker I, I, it makes me nervous he made me nervous and I told him do not contact me again do not contact my daughter don't make it awkward at church because we go to church together so don't don't do it they have security so i ain't scared i ain't i can take care of myself i'm not a little old girl you know but anyway this is 10 minutes i gotta go there will probably be a part two 
But anyway, y'all, a man scared me. A big old lady like me. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful night. God bless. Thank you so much if you listen to me rambling. Because I ramble. I don't know if y'all know that or not. But I babble. I ramble. I go on. I love my flamingos. I just had to turn them on for the video. Anyway, y'all have a good night. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.